guys welcome back to my channel today's video is not another plant video I know a lot of you guys are asking me why I keep talking about house plants and I really just feel that it is something that I've experienced a whole lot during this quarantine period and it's something that I guess I wanted to share as a different aspect of my life especially since in terms of our handbags we haven't really been able to use them a whole lot since we are mainly stay at home right now so yeah this has has been a very new experience for me also I think I've never really been the sort of domesticated housewife type of person especially since I travel quite a bit for work so now that I'm homebound I'm learning how to cook I'm learning how to do the laundry and I know it sounds really really hilarious especially for those of you who are used to something like this but yeah it has been quite a different journey for me and um, I, I mean I'm very very grateful for all of it and I'm learning quite a bit but at the same time it can be very very emotionally stressful on me and uh, my house plans have really been the way that I've been able to release some of that stress and really enjoy my home life but anyways in today's video I am talking about what is in my handbag and this is the Prada bag that was my last purchase right before this quarantine period so I wanted just to share what I keep on the inside of this handbag I also share I'm also sharing a few organization tips as well in terms of like how I store this and how I keep everything organized on the inside so anyways, this is a small to medium sized handbag and most of the handbags if you've seen on my channel are usually this size for me simply because I find that bigger handbags are overwhelming for my body frames. This one does have a strap as well. I just didn't use it for this video simply because it does get a little bit in the way and in the frame of the camera so but anyways this does have a strap and that's usually how I wear this handbag so this one is divided into two compartments and then it has a middle zippered compartment and I usually do try to look for bags with at least one zippered compartment I actually prefer that the entire top is zippered but this handbag was just so cute that I was totally fine with it not having a zipper so the layout is pretty like uh, pretty much like the pochette Matisse which is another handbag that I really like it just doesn't have the flap right there but it does have like two big compartments and then a middle compartment right there so let me first start with the middle zippered compartment because that's the smallest area and that's usually where I just contain small items that I don't want to lose which includes my keys of course so these are my car keys it is on a Furla keychain and then I have also my card holder so this is uh, RFID proof cascading card holder and it is from a brand called Secret so you just pop that up right there and then it has all of the cards that I usually use on a daily basis so that's what is in the middle compartment the next part of the handbag is this top portion and this is where I usually like to keep my uh, wallet and my house keys as well or anything that is important I just like to have it on the side that is closer to me when I am wearing the handbag and the first thing that I have in here is my Louis Vuitton Clements wallet so I definitely would recommend this wallet as a first wallet because it is just so easy to use I love the fact that it is an accordion style and your bills just fit flat across without having to fold them and I find that this is just really the perfect size that I don't overstuff it I don't keep my coins actually in here but it does have like a coin slot right here um, what I do is I have a separate coin uh, purse that I keep my stuff in but anyways I do keep my bills in here and then my receipts and as well as my membership cards if I am using this wallet right now I'm not that's why it's empty but I just wanted to show you guys that the Louis Vuitton Clements wallet will fit into a bag like this so this is a wallet that I really really love and I really think that this is a very good investment in terms of Louis Vuitton pieces it's not too expensive because it is a entry 
entry level piece and yeah it is just very very durable so i love using this wallet the next thing that i have is my house keys so let me just pull that out and i usually put my house keys in a pouch that just keeps it from scratching the lining of the handbag especially if your handbag is um, in leather lining but anyways those are my house keys and i just keep it in that pouch and then the next thing that i have is a card holder from chanel so this is actually where I keep my coins and it also is the place where I keep my extra membership cards just in case they don't fit into the Clements wallet. I will use this smaller wallet. Sometimes I will just carry this wallet and not bring my Clements wallet, especially if I do need a bit more space in my handbag for other things that I don't usually carry around with me, but I might need on a specific day for work. So I will just bring this wallet around with me. So this is very, very handy. I love having like a smaller wallet and I love the fact that this one is zippered also, just so that I don't lose anything on the inside of that. So that's it for that side. No, wait, there should be one more thing. I usually keep my Kindle as well. Oh, okay, so it's on the other side. But anyways, I do also carry around my Kindle with me and um, I'm not really like I don't really read a whole lot but if I do have some time I will try to do some reading on the Kindle and this Kindle is so much better than reading on your cell phone and stuff so um, right now I think I am reading a Japanese cookbook but anyways um, the nice thing about the Kindle is that you don't really have to charge it a whole lot so if, even if I forget to charge it, I can just keep it in my handbag and usually if I have some time, I will try to read a bit on the Kindle. Okay, so the next thing that I have and we are moving to the bottom part of the handbag. So for the bottom part, it is a little bit more spacious in terms of the size and I forgot to mention also this handbag does have like um, buttons at the side so you can open up the button just to help widen uh, both sides so that you can see what is on the inside of the handbag. So I do like that feature about this handbag as well. The first thing I have is a Prada pouch and this is my catch-all actually. Everything that is small and it doesn't have a proper location, I just dump it on the inside right here. So I have like a small pouch here which is where I keep my earphones. Um, I have tissue packs I have like two three tissue packs like that and then I have my hair ties as well I have a tape measure um, I don't know why I have a tape measure in here um, I have a band-aid and I have like uh, four or five lipsticks and lip balms on the inside of this as well and then I also have my lotion so yeah just a whole bunch of small knickknacks and I really like to have a, a spare pouch all the time with me inside my handbag just so that I can throw in the things that I might need throughout the day. So the next thing that I have in here is face mask. Right now, of course, we all need the face mask when we go out. Um, I always keep with me a spare face mask as well. And then sometimes uh, my parents have also given me goggles, which I find kind of odd to wear. But anyways, I do sometimes bring those along with me. And then I have a ball pen as well. And then the next thing I have is a pair of sunglasses. So this is just in a soft case. I don't really like to carry around with me a hard case because it's so bulky inside the handbag. And since I usually do use a smaller handbag in the first place, I try to limit the amount of stuff that I put on the inside of here. That's also something that I learned because whenever I would buy a big handbag, I found myself stuffing so much on the inside. So now what I do is I just have a separate laptop bag which carries around my laptop and the charger for my laptop. And then I have this bag which I bring around with me everywhere. That way I don't have to lug around my laptop a whole lot as well because I found that when I was bringing my laptop with me every single day, I would leave it in the car a whole lot and that's not very safe here as well. 
Anyways, I have sidetracked um, back to my sunglasses. These are the sunglasses that I usually wear and I bring with me on a regular day if it is sunny. Right now we are entering a rainy season so I won't need that as often. So anyways, that's about it for the inside of this handbag. And then I also wanted to show you guys how I actually organize things. So I have with me my um, handbag organization bin. And oh, here, so it's on this side. So I just have it labeled as um, personal bag accessories. And this is really just a plastic bin in which I contain all of my pouches that I might need. Um, all of the stuff that I might use on a regular daily basis so on the inside of this let me just show you guys very very quickly is all of my different pouches and um, I reach for these uh, a whole lot that's why they go inside here but it also just contains it just helps me organize my handbag and if you are somebody who switches out handbags a whole lot it is really nice just to have one place for all of your stuff just so that you don't lose anything so this one just really contains like um, a pouch for my banking stuff. Like yeah, all of my bank stuff so that it's easy for me to grab and go. If it is a day that I'm going to do some banking, I will grab this pouch, put it onto the inside of my handbag and I am ready to go. The other thing that I keep in here is the dust bags that of the bag that I'm currently using. And this is because I used to lose my dust bags a whole lot. So I have the Prada bag with me that I am using that belongs to this one. And then I also have the Louis Vuitton dust bag, which is for my small leather goods or for my wallet. And then I just have like uh, the strap also, the strap of this bag, um, the Chanel authenticity card. I also have like another strap. And then I just have like all of these random pouches and I just like different size pouches so that it's very easy for me to organize the inside of the handbag especially if you use handbags of different sizes it's always good to have different size pouches I guess um, just to see which ones fit on the inside of your handbag the best. So this has been something that is very very useful for me you could actually do this with a drawer it doesn't have to be like a plastic container it's just that I use the plastic container because that was the only thing that I could find in my home office the other thing that I like to do is organize my handbag on a daily basis and I really try to edit out the contents of what I have on the inside of here. So if I have like extra receipts or bills, I always make sure that when I get home, I put them in the right location. So that way it just really keeps your handbag very, very organized. The only thing that I do is that is a little bit messy is maybe my cosmetic pouch and that's because I use this as a catch-all and I dump everything on the inside of here but once a week or so I will try to go through it and put everything in the correct location. The other thing that I like to do with my handbag is I like to look for pouches that are almost the same size as the handbag. So that just really helps me stack the pouches or the contents of the bag uh, very easily to the top so that I can see it uh, very quickly and pull out exactly what I need. So if you notice this handbag of mine is exactly the right height for my Kindle. I mean everything just fits in very very easily. Even the Clements wallet, well the Clements wallet I usually put it in diagonally uh, but it is quite easy to see on the inside of the handbag and then just reach in for it. So I don't like very deep or bottomless handbags which is probably why I don't usually use a tote bag so much because I find that I, it's very hard to be reaching into the bottom of the handbag but if I do use a tote bag then I will usually put in a bag organizer which really really helps me out as well. So yeah that's another thing is I try to stack everything vertically just so that I can see everything at a glance what is on the inside of my handbag. So anyways, that is it again and I hope you guys did enjoy this week's video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did and if you aren't already, please do consider subscribing as well to my channel. Anyways, till next video, please do take care and I will see all of you again soon. Bye bye!